Okay, so this video lesson is going to be on a Sunhouse song called Preaching Blues. And this song is going to be in vestibule tuning, so you're going to have to tune your guitar to open D and then capo up to the second fret like I've got here. Um, of course, you'll need your slide for this tune, and um, you'll be set to go after that. So what I'll do is go through the song once, which is just comprises of a couple moves, and then we'll get into the lesson. He may or may not start with this lick, and taking into account the capo on the second fret, you'll start this one uh, with your middle finger fretting the eighth fret of the fifth string, and your first finger fretting the um, seventh fret of the top string. So you've got that minor double stop right there. And so on the treble side, what you'll be doing is just bending those top two strings. And the way you can do that easiest, in my opinion, is just by grabbing, using the leverage of your thumb peeking over the neck, just twisting your hand, twisting that wrist, and then your fingers will bend those strings just a little bit, just about half of a semitone. Okay. Now on the bass side, really all you'll be doing is strumming the bottom few strings. And then of course you bend, and then there's a strum. And then for the next strum you'll go up and down. So the movement with the right hand Getting a fluid, comfortable movement is really important here. So it'll just be going. Up, down. And once you get comfortable, you can have that messy kind of sound that he gets. you've got rather than if you don't want too much of a percussive sound here although sometimes it's nice what you can do like he does as you can see from some of his revival videos from the 60s is sweep across with your pointer finger and um, yeah so that pretty much covers that lick Although one thing I will add uh, is you've got the option to do this. So that really won't come from too many of his 1960s recordings because by then I don't know whether it's a little bit of arthritis or just he didn't really quite remember some of his old moves, but. If you listen to a 1940s version of Shetland Pony Blues, uh, using this very same lick, he uses this as the way to fill in the, the gaps rather than just a strum. So the way you'll be doing that is just sweeping across down the strings with your thumb. And the way I've got my thumb is just parallel to the strings, just bent like that. And then once you get to the bottom, once you pass the bottom string, you get underneath it and snap it. So that will add some variety from this. To get you some different 
different sounds out of your guitar. So the the little lead lick that he plays with the slide. just done by sliding up to the 12th fret twice into that 12th fret of the top string and then you pick it again coming down so that third pick when you come down you still want that slide to be sitting on that 12th fret And then what you'll be doing when you come down into open position is just sliding into that third fret. So you pick that open string once, but your target is going to be that third fret. And now this is the one of those uh, moments where you need to have that comfort in your right hand again, because the correct strumming motion, which at first isn't quite intuitive, should be up here and ready to attack with a downward stroke. Okay, so make sure you get some comfort with that particular section. Now as for the strumming um, lick here, it's very similar to when you're up here. Here, you won't be fretting anything on these open strings. So same rhythm with regards to the interaction of the treble and bass sides. So. comes from Charlie Patton so he probably learned that from Charlie Patton back in the day and that ended up being something that he adopted for the better part of his career as a as a guitarist so that's pretty much uh, everything that he plays although there will be some variations for instance when he comes up sometimes he'll just slide just sweeping across most of those treble strings Somehow he wouldn't go parallel to the frets, so it'd get that you know really gritty delta blues out of tune guitar kind of sound. So um, that for the most part covers the entire song. Uh, you you know you can always add some of your own rhythmic or um, melodic variations as always, but um, that pretty much covers the way Sunhouse plays it. If you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.